Hey, welcome back my big brother fans. Oh my god, it's been a while since I did one of these videos and I know that I'm super late with doing this video because the cast came out like a week ago, but I still wanted to make this video so I'm said I'm gonna just make it anyway even though I know the first episode is about to come on in a couple days. So, but I saw the cast and my, my first of all my reaction to the actual cast First person I saw was Tamar Braxton, and I was like, what? She gonna be on Big Brother? So I automatically got excited. So no matter who else was on it, like, not saying I'm a Tamar fan or nothing, but I watched, I seen Tamar, I know who she is. Like, she is, Tamar is a famous person for real. She's not like some of the people from last well, so last season actually has some pretty good celebrities to me. I know people always people always gonna talk crap about the cast and say how oh, these aren't real celebrities, but Tamar was somebody that I actually knew and I actually have watched because I used to watch her on the real. So you know, some of my segments on this channel came from Tamar. Like if you go back and watch my WCW videos on this channel, they came from Tamar on the real doing MC. M Man Crush MCM. So if you watch my tap out videos, they came from Tamar. Like so, I was very excited to see Tamar. Um, I, at first I like she actually agreed to do this show though. Like I, she's a kind of a diva if y'all know her. Like I don't think she's gonna do good at it, living in a house by herself or with all these people, being away from her babies. Um, I know she's going through a divorce, so I guess her husband that don't count. But just. Being locked away from the outside world, like I didn't think, I didn't know how she'd react. But turns out she's a big fan of the show. So let me just get right into Tamar. She's a big fan of the show, so like from her interview, and she was all into it. I saw her interview with Ika um, from Canada, Big Brother Canada. By the way, if any of y'all are Big Brother Canada fans, and y'all have like a, a resource for me on how I can watch it cuz I've been trying to watch Big Brother Canada for a long time. I really want to see Big Brother Canada because I know Ika because I or whatever her name is because I on Twitter, I'm big on Twitter when Big Brother's on and she's always tweeting. Like she's a big Big Brother fan too. I know she was on the show, but she's a fan still. So I really want to see her seasons and I know she was in a show man. Her interview with uh Tamar was great. So I'm really looking forward to Tamar. I think Tamar downfall on being on this show is annoying people because of her attitude her mouth i feel like that's gonna get her in trouble and that's what's gonna get her, end up getting her evicted um then i saw candy and i was oh, actually i lied tamar was not the first person i saw eva marie was the first person i saw because it was leaked but it wasn't really confirmed so I had tweeted, like, if she on the show, I'm going to love it. Because I was a big WWE fan. And even though I'm not a big Eva Marie fan, not saying that I'm not an Eva Marie fan, but she's not my favorite. And she's not there no more. But the thing is, she was there. And I did watch her on TV. So I'm a fan of watching her, I guess. Because she was inside of a company that I was a fan of. She was in WWE, if y'all followed all that stuff. So I was really excited to see Eva Marie on the show and in her interview she's a big fan of the show so I'm like yes she knows all this stuff and like I'm excited to watch Eva Marie like Eva Marie and Tamar like that's two that where I was like thumbs up I'm glad then I saw Candy um now I my mom watches Real Housewives of Atlanta and a lot of people in my family watch Real Housewives of Atlanta and that's how I know of Candy. I know she's on that show. I don't really know anything about her, but I learned that she's very like rich, <laughs> got a lot of stuff going on. Oh, and I know she was inside that singing group, uh T not TLC. Is their name TLC? Heck no. She wrote for TLC, right? Escape, Escape. She's on. She's inside the group Escape. So I know Candy from that. I saw her perform at the BT Awards. So excited for her. I think she's uh, beautiful and stuff. So like, it'll be nice to watch her on the show. She seems nice. She seems cool. Um, I'm rooting for her because people in my family know her and the fans of Candy. So I'm looking forward to watching Candy. Um, as far as the show goes, she don't know nothing about it. So I can see her winning. 
because people might just want to keep her around and string her around because, oh, Candy don't know nothing about the show. She never watched it. She don't know the terms. She don't know what she's doing. And then she end up winning on mistake. I can see that happening. So, but I'm looking forward to seeing Candy. Um, then, um, Tom Green, uh, the, the comedian, um, I've heard of him. Never really seen anything of him that I know of or that I can remember. But he's also somebody that I heard of. So I was excited, you know, for Tom Green. Um, so he was fine. And then his interview, I don't really remember his interview much. Um, but, I mean, shoot, I'm excited for Tom Green. Um, he's fine. Now, something else about this cast is everybody, like, the average age of this cast has got to be, like, what, 39? This is an old cast. Like, the average age might be... It might, no, it's probably like 39, 41, 39, 40, 41. It's an old cast for Celebrity Big Brother. Like, the regular Big Brother, everybody be in their 20s. <laughs> but, um, right, in the regular cast, just last season, Rockstar was considered the old one, and she was only 34, 33, or maybe even 32, I don't remember. This cast, the baby is 34. Like, that's funny. Like, funny how things change. Um, then we got, let me go to the top. Actually, I'm going to go back. Dina Lohan, um, Lindsay Lohan's mom, I didn't know nothing about her. But apparently she's crazy. I couldn't tell by her interview. She seemed like a sweet old lady. But apparently she's like a crazy momager for Lindsay Lohan. But I'm excited to watch her. She seems pretty cool. I mean, she didn't raise all these kids in the industry apparently. And she's done some stuff herself. So she should be good to watch. Um... I don't see myself being a fan of her, to be honest. But, I mean, I, I, you never know. Never know. She seemed like a sweet old lady. She just don't seem like my type that I'll be vibing with as a fan. Um, Jonathan Bennett from Mean Girls. Okay, somebody else. Now, at first, I didn't know who he was. Don't get me wrong. At first, I didn't know who he was. Then I found out he was in Mean Girls. And he apparently, he gay now. Um, he um His interview, he was definitely... <laughs> I don't know if that's all right. But his interview, I could tell that he had came out. But he was he had a lot of energy and he seemed like he was kinda doing the most for the camera. But that's kinda like I can see him and Tamar being really cool or really hating each other. Cause he kinda remind me of a boy Tamar. But he was doing more than Tamar, it seemed like. Tamar seemed like she's real with it. She's real extra, but she's real with it. Jonathan Bennett seems like he's real extra and kind of putting on, you know. But I am a fan of his. I am rooting for him throughout this show. So I, I like Jonathan Bennett. I'm a good choice. I'm excited to watch him. I don't know if he watched the show, though. I don't remember from his interview. Um, Lolo Jones. Didn't really know who she was, but she's an Olympian. And she was real cool in her interview. I liked her a lot. But I'm going to talk about her inside the spoilers inside of a minute and at the end of this video. Um, but yeah, from my interview, I liked her a lot. I was a fan of her. Apparently, she a virgin. She like 36, 30, how old is she? 30, yeah, 36. And then we got Kato Kalen. Apparently, he was a witness inside the OJ trial witness. Um, I had no clue anything about him, but I'm trying to figure out how is he a wit how is he a celebrity because he was a witness inside of a murder. I'm confused. I talked to my mom about it because, you know, I obviously wasn't around back then. She knew who he was. She knew. And I'm like, how, so how is he a celebrity? She's like, he not. He not a celebrity. I'm like, but he's on Celebrity Big Brother. And she's like, um, apparently he did some acting. And then his thing is say host. So, but I mean, uh, he seemed pretty cool on the, his interview, though. He seemed pretty cool. I might like Kato. He's like the oldest person in the house, too, I think. Yeah, 59, 60 years old. He's in good shape. Good good for him. Um, he seems like he might be easily influenced in the house, though. I will say that. But I, I like Kato Kayla. He's pretty cool. Um, next, who we're going to talk about. Let's talk about Ricky Williams, the football player guy. When I tell y'all he was born, I was so bored watching his interview. He was the only person whose interview... Actually, it was two people. Because one of the interviews I actually... I literally fell asleep during it. And it's not because it was so boring that it put me to sleep. I was laying in bed watching it, and it put me to sleep. 
Ricky Williams was boring as ever. I have to say, he was not fun to watch. Um, I hope he gets eliminated fairly or evicted fairly quick, fairly soon, because I'm not a fan. I will say, um, maybe he can surprise me inside the house, but I just, to me, out of all the interviews I watched, and I didn't know, have no clue who he was. I don't know nothing about football, but to me. Out of all the interviews, he was the most boring, and I just, I got nothing from him, nothing. And he's never watched the show, so Ricky Williams, I'm, I'm fine with him leaving pretty, like, fast. Um, Ryan Lochte. So apparently there's a lot of controversy over him, like, inside the media from years ago. He faked something, like a whole, I don't want to get the story wrong, so I'm not going to talk about it, but... I heard about it, is what I'll say. He seemed pretty boring in his interview, too, I think. I don't really remember, y'all, to be honest. I have to be honest. I don't. The other person that put me to sleep, I will say right now, was um was Joey. Joey Lawrence. His interview. So, I'm not talking about Ryan Lochte's. But uh, he's an Olympian, too. Swimmer. Um, I thought he'd be really good on the show and at challenges. Probably too good, where he'll get eliminated pretty quickly. His interview wasn't that bad from what I remember, but it wasn't that good either. I don't really have nothing special to say about him. I can't really remember anything. So if that sells y'all something, there you go. And Joey Lawrence from the Somebody and Joey show. So I have heard of him, but his interview, he just seemed like he was doing this because it was offered to him. And I know everyone's doing it for money, but he seemed like I ain't got nothing better to do, so why not? Let's just do it. Which I feel like, I hate myself for saying that because I feel like that's what a lot of people do. If we don't got nothing better to do, we do it. So I shouldn't knock him for that. But just the interview, like, he just seemed like he didn't care. Like, he just seemed like whatever. Like, was he the one in his interview with Ika where he was like, if they say they go send me home, I'm going to be like, okay, I'm okay with that. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Joey Lawrence, I'm not a fan of. He's another one where he can get the early boot. Um, and last but not least, Anthony Scaramucci, the mooch from the White House, Omarosa's friend. I liked him a lot, like a lot, a lot. Apparently he cusses a lot. He's very sarcastic. He was in the White House for like 11 days or six days, six to 11 days, one of them. And um, he's not a fan of Trump. <laughs> he was in the house with Trump, but I guess he's just like Amorosa, like they, they just saying that because they not in the house no more. But I mean, I like him. I'm rooting for Anthony Scar the Mooch, the Mooch. But uh, now let's just get to the spoilers. Um, so I didn't want to know who won the first HOH. I didn't see any of the feeds yet, but I kind of ran into it. Like, because I was on Twitter and I read that Lolo Jones was in trouble. And I was like, shoot, that's another thing. New York, Tiffany Pollard, I know it was a big thing on uh, the Big Brothers, like, between the Big Brother fans on wanting her, but she turned Big Brother down because of the pay or whatever. I don't like that, New York, because, I mean, shoot, you could have did the show you just because of pay. Well, I guess if she didn't want to, she didn't want to, but. So that, anyway, the reason why I brought that up is because they got five girls and seven boys, so it's really uneven. So I hope that some guys go home before girls, but it looked like Lolo Jones is in trouble because, spoilers here, found out Ryan Lochte won the HOH. No surprise there. He seemed like the type that'll win the first HOH. Probably the most athletic inside the whole house. And that's what I don't understand. You're an Olympian, and you're about to get out another Olympian? That's the drama that's going on inside the house right now. At least from what I read. Um, but I'm hoping that he takes out a man. Maybe Ricky Williams. Or even like, I know he's not taking out Joey. Joey and Jonathan are apparently an alliance already. Does Candy and Tamar know each other? I'm not saying that because they both black girls. I'm saying it because they both, they, they, they're, <laughs> can I put this? They are both inside the R&B community. They're the only two that are inside the R&B community. And I think 
Tamar is friends with Tiny, and Tiny's like in a group with Candy. So that's why I'm saying that. Um, so I wonder if they gonna be in the alliance. But that's the only spoilers I really have is that Ryan Lochte's HOH. It looked like he might target Lolo Jones. It looked like Lolo Jones might leave. And I can definitely see Lolo Jones being the first to go because when I look at the cast, if she's up against another girl, which is most likely going to be two girls up, and unless they put up Lindsay Lohan's mom. Well, uh, nah, because I can see the girls, the other three girls, trying to say, let's vote out Lindsay Lohan's mom because, I mean, Lolo Jones can be on our side and be strong. But there's still more guys voting. So, unless Lindsay Lohan's mom annoys everybody, it looks like Lolo Jones is going if she's up on the block because she's a good, she's, she's a strong girl. Unfortunately, because I really liked Lolo Jones. I really wanted to watch her. But it won't be the first time that somebody I like leaves first. So, I mean, whatever. Predictions for this season. Um, so, I guess I'll predict Lolo Jones leaves first, unfortunately. And the winner, let me just go through the whole cast. The winner, I don't see it being Aunt the Mooch. Definitely don't see it being Diana, Dina Lohan. Joey Lawrence? No, it won't be Joey Lawrence. I got to mix up with Jonathan Bennett. I can see it being Jonathan Bennett. Or Jonathan Bennett, I can see him playing like Ross, but more cutthroat than Ross. Ross was nice. Even though people keep saying, you know, how they didn't like Ross and how he lied and stuff, he was nice. Joey Lawrence, I can see him lying and not caring. So I can see definitely, I mean, Jonathan Bennett winning. Candy, I can see her winning because she doesn't know anything. They just string her along. Kato Kalen, another thing, funny people were saying he's going to win because he's used to squatting in people's houses for a long time because he was in the witness protection program. But, uh, no, I can't see Kato winning. Lolo, I don't see winning. Him for I can see her winning if she don't leave first, but I'm predicting her to leave first, so that's the only thing. I'm looking at my camera because it's about to die. I talk way too much. This video should not be this long. Uh, I can see even Marie winning. I definitely can. Cause she's so cute. A lot of people, a lot of boys might not want to get rid of her. Like Kato Kalen. Like I can see him trying to keep Eve Marie around. Like maybe even Joey Lawrence, um, Jonathan Bennett, even though he's gay. Tom Green, Ricky Williams. Uh, he's so boring. I don't want to see him to the finals. <laughs> But I, I probably, I don't know. Ryan Lochte? No. Tamar? No. Tom Green? I can see him winning. My prediction will be... I'm going to go with Eva Marie. And I'm rooting for Eva Marie to win. Because she's the person that I actually watch. Eva Marie, out of everybody on this whole cast, is the person that I actually follow. Because I watched her on WWE. I watched her in NXT. I watched her on her reality show, Total Diva. So I know about Eva Marie. So I'm, I'm definitely rooting for Eva Marie. And um, yeah, I'm voting for Eva. I'm pulling for Eva Marie to win, and I think she's gonna win. Natalie Eva Marie is her name, but I know her as Eva Marie. So I'm going with Eva Marie. That's my prediction. Um, I'm super excited to watch this. I'm gonna try to review it, y'all. And. Please comment and talk about this with me because I'm so excited. This is great. I love this cast. Tell me what y'all think and follow me on Twitter and Snapchat and let's just talk about it. I can talk Big Brother all day. Hopefully I'm on Summer, summer Big Brother and uh, I'll see y'all for the next Big Brother video if y'all only here to watch Big Brother videos. <laughs> Catch you later.